Welcome to another episode of This Week in Electro. And today I want to talk about the idea of transference of knowledge or knowledge transfer, however you want to say it. This is really the idea that you can learn something in a particular context and you can transfer that knowledge that you've learned into another context. For example, maybe you need to cut a piece of timber. So you measure out the timber, you mark it out, you grab your saw, you cut your, cut your timber and away you go. If you are there and are out on the job as an electrician, you may then need to cut a piece of conduit. And the information you learn on how to cut timber is exactly the same as it is to cut conduit, but it's a different context. You still have to measure the conduit, still have to mark it out, and you have to cut it. Now, you may, with conduit, you may use conduit cutters or some other tool that you might not have used with timber. But again, that knowledge is really, really important to transfer across. Now, obviously, that's a very, very basic example. There are many, many other examples I could probably give. But what I want you to understand is that this skill is something that does take some time to get good at. And a lot of times, as an apprentice, you're still learning how to transfer this stuff. And you might have a particular problem that you need to solve on the job, and it might seem really, really complicated. And then you realize that you actually know how to do this because you've done the same skills or that you've got the same knowledge, but from a different context. Um, one of the things that we do as electricians a lot is we'll read a drawing and maybe it's a circuit diagram, for example, where the circuit diagram only has some lines and some symbols. That's all it has, right? If we take, for example, a very, very basic circuit diagram of just a switch and a light, you've literally got one wire going into a switch, one wire, wire coming out of the switch to a light symbol, and then one wire going back to the beginning. That's it, just those basic wire lines. But when you come to actually wiring that up, you'll find you've actually got three wires. You've got an active, neutral, and an earth. Your wiring diagram, sorry, your circuit diagram only shows one but you're on the job, you've got three. So you need to transfer the knowledge of how that circuit actually works to then figuring out how you actually wire it up. Another example I can give you is when we label things. We should always, always label things when we're working with them. Um, if you're pulling apart a motor or you're pulling apart something, whatever it might be, some other electro-technology component, you're always labeling the bits that come off it. Um, and that's important because when it comes time to cutting cable, running cable lengths and cutting them all off, you've got to make sure you're always labeling, right? It's a basic skill, but it's again, it's the transference of that knowledge of how to do it correctly. I was on a job once and we had run mains cables to, it was, it was a shopping center. And basically what had happened was in this shopping center, it was a small shopping center, there was about 24, 25 shops. And each shop had its own set of mains going to it, sub-mains, I should say. And there was an active, neutral, earth, right, for each shop. In fact, each shop was three-phased, so there was three actives, a neutral, and an earth, going to every shop. You, you, know, you do the maths, work it out, 24 shops, say, it adds up. Lots of cables. All the cables are exactly the same, so we mark them all out, so we know which cables are which. When all these cables were pulled in, and we spent days pulling all these cables in through roofs and through conduits, they're all in the switch room, they're all labelled, they're all on the floor. And the person that was given the job to terminate these cables, what he had to do was he had to go along and he had to trim all the cables off so that they would fit, because they were too long. Now, transferring of your knowledge of how to mark and identify stuff, you would think that you would cut the cable and remark the end that you've cut so that you know which cable it was, okay? Because when you're cutting the end of the cable off, obviously the end that's got the markings on is now on the floor at scrap, so you'd remark the cable, and you would do that one at a time. Now, this particular fellow, for whatever reason, went no problems, and he went cut, 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 all the way through, cut every single cable, stood back, looked at it, and went, Excellent, done. Now I'll start attaching these cables. As soon as he went to start terminating, he realized that he no longer knew which cable was which. And this is why 
transferring your knowledge, always thinking about what you're doing is so, so important. Um, we then spent another couple of weeks having to do what's called belling out, uh, which is basically continuity testing every single one of these cables at the board, the main board, and then all the way through each individual shot to try and identify which one was which, and it took a long time, right? All because of a simple mistake. And that mistake could have been avoided if the person on the job had stopped, thought about it, thought about what they need to do, transfer that knowledge of knowing that, yes, I should be labeling this stuff and I'm pulling things apart, I should label so I know where they came from and where they've got to go, could have saved a lot of money as well. So it is an important skill that we should, as, we should learn as electricians. And you as an apprentice are going to be expected to learn this skill. When you are still at school and you're learning your various different subjects, this is a lot of times where we see issues with, with students who um, are still learning the skill. Uh, if you go into maths class, for example, and you are learning all about triangles and Pythagoras and geometry, these theories that you learn are the basis of what we do as electricians. They are the basis of electrotechnology. So taking that information from your maths class, then applying that to your electrical trade, this is that transference of knowledge that you need to get good at. And again, a lot of times, if you're used to seeing things in a certain way, it's very easy for you to not see them in another particular context. Knowing how to write correctly is also important. You would be maybe in English class learning all about writers and learning how to construct sentences and paragraphs and understanding the inner meaning of text. And you might not think this is important because you would think, hey, you know what, why do I care what the inner meaning of this text is? But by understanding the concepts of the English language uh, or whatever language that you are learning at school, uh, then this is important because when it comes time to writing up your documentation, writing up your invoices, writing up service reports, all of these things that we still have to do as electricians, you need to be able to transfer that knowledge and write it correctly. If you put a full stop or a comma into, say, an action advice document. Now, an action advice document, for those who don't know, is basically if you're on a job and there's something that has to be done, that's maybe outside of the scope of works. Maybe there has to be an extra PowerPoint put in somewhere. Maybe there's got to be a light's got to be moved somewhere on the planet says it's got to be in this room, but it's got to be moved somewhere else because something has happened. This is an action advice. You fill out the details, you go and see the builder and you say, look, this is the problem. This is what I've got to do. I've got it written down here. You sign it, they sign it. So everyone's aware in writing of any changes that have to happen because there's usually gonna be a charge, a monetary charge along with that anyway. So if you've got to write an action advice, you need it to be clear. If you've got a missing full stop or a missing comma, that can change the entire meaning of that sentence and could potentially change whether you get paid or whether your company gets paid or not. So again, we're transferring knowledge that we learnt somewhere else, which you would think has nothing to do with being an electrician, but in fact it does, you are transferring that knowledge from one context to another context. And I can't stress this enough, it is so, so important that you can do this stuff, right? Uh, so you have, as an apprentice, you have four years to learn all of these skills and get good at it. And not only get good at being able to do the things I've described, but also being able to recognize when you come across a problem and you realize that, you know what? I actually need this particular skill and I learned this skill in this area of my life, maybe back at school or maybe even on another job. That skill is going to be important and that's when you're going to use it. So anyway, that is it for this episode. It's a bit of a quick episode talking about this knowledge transference. It's really almost a common sense type thing and it's something that you just will acquire over time anyway. The more you do your work, the more you do your trade. But as I keep reiterating in this episode, it is so, so important that you do get good at that skill. I hope you've got something from this video. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if so, please like, subscribe, all of that sort of stuff. And I will see you next time.